Hey, you guys caught me right in the middle of a shoot and I was thinking that'd be a really great technique to teach you guys would be how to do a wig wrap. Not only are they great for getting rid of hair, but they look pretty interesting as well on their own and I love to attach hair pieces to them. So let's get started on this wig wrap. This is our lovely model, Maddie. Hi. First, you'll want to use your comb to find the roundness of the head. You will want to check this all the way around as you create your circular section. You don't want to go past the curve of the head because as you are working later, the hair will want to slide past it. Once your section is created, comb through and pin out of the way. Next, you will begin behind the ear and work counterclockwise around the head, taking one to one and a half inch subsections. You will saturate each subsection with famoleon and scrape it back with a small rat tail comb. You will continue this all the way around the head back to the starting section. Get creative with your product choices. You don't always have to use Famoleant. I've done wood wraps without any product at all and find that they're great when you're pulling hair through a mesh cap. Also, try using Control Force or Flaxseed Aloe. You'll get a really hard, solid finish, which is great for attaching things to. When you get to your last section, make sure you use your tiny comb and really work out those bumps and make sure the hair is nice and smooth. Now for the circle section. Split this section diagonally in half. Saturate the bottom half with famoleant. Now you want to comb through it and wrap in direction of the rest of the hair. Blend this hair into your first section, working out any bumps or tangles. Now saturate the top half of the hair and comb through it. Using a finger, hold the hair at the bottom and circle the rest around and add it to your previous section. Blend this hair using your comb until smooth. All right, so our wig wrap is all done. So now you have a couple of different options. You can put a wig on it. And now she looks like a totally different person. So I've shown you how to do a wig wrap and then put a wig on it. 
I also like to use hair pieces sometimes. I've done braids, I've done hair petals, hair pom-poms, and stuck those on in creative looks. Right now, I've pulled inspirational words and bright colors that I like, and I've attached them to her, and so I'm just gonna finish this off to create a nice editorial look. I've applied to pay tape all over our model's head, and now I am peeling off the backing. Once the toupee tape is exposed, you can then stick the pieces of the magazine onto her head. Thanks for watching. I hope this video makes wig wrapping look easy and inspires you to go out and try it on your own.